you know, when, cause there was really like a lot of talk before Takashi got out and it was like, okay, can a rapper really be successful with the whole snitch, you know, persona and, and the whole, you know, snitch tag and everything else like that. But when Takashi got out, he actually embraced the whole snitching thing. I mean, the first video, his head turns into a big mouse head. Uh, his album was called Tattle Tales. Uh, you know, he's actually like embracing know, the, the snitching thing. That's weird. I wouldn't know anything about that. So, I mean, I wouldn't. That's different. I don't know. I mean, you've seen it though. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's hard not to see it when everybody's posting it, when he's doing it. So, you know, one of the things that he's really held on to. Uh, was that you and Shadi were in some some type of relationship. And I think he even said that after the fact, after he got out. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your take on that? He's going to drive himself crazy. Like, if that's what he still believes in his head, I mean, God bless his soul. Like, at this, he's literally going to hold on to that to the day he dies in his head. I don't... I don't know what other piece to give him. He just wants to stick with what he has. So, Do you think that he really believes it? Or do you think, oh, I'm going to use this as an excuse Both. for telling on everyone? Both. You know Both. when a person lies so much and they start to believe what they're saying? And it makes all the sense in the world to them and how they put it together and how they're telling it to people and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, right, because it's a lot easier to say that to, than to say, listen. Um, I just didn't want to do the time, and I was scared. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be in prison because... I'm sorry. I I'm just don't want to be in prison. Over. Like, but So if I could tell on a bunch of people not to be in prison, then I'll just go ahead and tell on them. You know, because I just don't want to be in prison. Just like everyone else doesn't want to be in prison. So there you go. They offered me a deal to tell on everyone. I went above and beyond. He wasn't and, gonna let know, go of everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, pretty pretty much. And it's like, okay, it's just self-preservation, really, is probably how he looks at it. Like, okay, I just don't want to be locked up. So they're giving me this out. And everyone else is not really cooperating. So I'm gonna be the main cooperator and I will I will tell them everything I know. And you know. You know, I've spoken to lawyers about this. He is not your typical, you know, witness. He's like an exemplary. When he went above and beyond, he told them things that they weren't even asking. This no <laughs> like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. He gave him a he he put other people in the mix. Trippy Red got thrown into the testimony. He Cardi, uh, Jim. Yeah, Car yeah, Jim Jones got thrown in. Like it was just like they weren't even asking about these people. And it's like, oh, okay, by the way, let me give you some more information. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, it, it is what it is uh, at this point.